President, Mr. Barroso says, I think my team is of high quality. Well, let's conduct a human audit. Now, I'm mindful that audits aren't very popular in the European Commission and that auditors, if they do their job properly, get fired, but nonetheless, here goes. From France, we have Mr. Jacques Barreau. He'll take on transport. In 2000, he received an eight-month suspended jail sentence for his involvement in an embezzlement case and was banned from holding public office for two years. From Hungary, we have Mr. Kovacs. He'll take on taxation. For many years, a communist apparatchik, a friend of Mr. Kadar, the dictator there, and an outspoken opponent of the values that we hold dear in the West. His new empire will produce <laughs> taxation policy and he'll look after the customs union from Cork across to Vilnius. Are the EPP and British Conservatives really going to vote for that? From, Est from Estonia we have Mr. Kellis, for 20 years a Soviet party apparatchik until his newly acquired taste for capitalism got him into some trouble. Though, to be fair, he was acquitted of abuse and fraud, but convicted for providing false information, and he's going to be in charge of the anti-fraud drive. I mean, you couldn't make it up. From the UK, we've got Peter Mandelson. He'll take on the trade portfolio. He, of course, twice was removed uh, from the British government. Yet, to be fair, he's one of the more competent ones. From the Netherlands, we've got Nelly Kroos. She'll take on comp uh, competition. She's accused of lying to the European Parliament. Now, these may only be allegations, but they're made by Mr. Van Boytman, and I think should be listened to. Ask yourself a question. Would you buy a used car from this commission? <laughs> I mean, the answer simply must be no. But even if they were competent, even if this was a high-quality commission, and sorry, Mr. Barroso, but I don't think it is, even if it was a high-quality commission, we would still vote no on the political principle that it's the Commission that is the guardian of the treaties, that it's the Commission that is the motor for integration, that it's the Commission that initiates the legislation that is damaging our businesses across Europe so badly. It is the Commission that is the embodiment of all that is worth in this European Union. It is the Commission that is the government of Europe and is not directly accountable to anybody. And please, when you vote, take note that 20 of these commissioners have already said that they intend to attempt to implement the Constitution even before it's been ratified by Member States' governments. In the face of such breathtaking arrogance, nobody in the Independence and Democracy Group will vote for this Commission. Thank you.